Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sara Lebrick. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to French President Emmanuel Macron on his inauguration as President of the Republic of France. His Majesty the King commended the deep-rooted bilateral relations, stressing Bahrain's keenness on broadening aspects of cooperation in the interests of the two countries and their people. He wished the French President good health and happiness and France and its people further progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness uh, the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to uh, French uh, President Emmanuel Macron on his inauguration as President of the Republic of France. His Royal Highness Prince uh, the Prime Minister lauded the strong, lo long-holding standing bilateral relations accented by cooperation in various areas in the interests of the two countries and their people. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa chaired the weekly cabinet meeting today at Ghadibiya Palace. His Royal Highness directed to continue doubling the distribution of uh, social assistance benefits to social security beneficiaries and doubling the distrib distribution of uh, disabled allowance on the occasion of the holy month of Ramadan to reduce uh, the burden of living on low income Bahraini families. He assigned uh, the Ministry of Labor and Social Development to take the necessary measures in accordance with the laws and regulations in this regard, including the Social Security Law. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister hailed the prominent and growing role of the national press and commended the efforts of journalists. He also congratulated the winners of the Khalifa bin Salman Press Award and sponsored uh, the distribution ceremony on the occasion of Bahrain Press Day. He directed all ministries and governmental bodies to activate the role of public relations departments to ensure effective cooperation with the press. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister hailed Bahrain's success for holding and organizing a number of global Arab and Gulf sports events, including the Congress of International Federation of Football Association, the FIFA, and the first Arab Championship and first Gulf Cooperation Council GCC Cup for indoor skydiving, hosted by Gravity Indoor Skydiving. He noted the importance of specialized conferences and exhibitions that enhance GCC cooperation, including the ninth conference and exhibition of the Gulf Electronic and Electronics Engineers Association, held recently under the patronage of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister. The cabinet condemned the failed attempts of terrorist groups to frighten citizens and obstruct the development efforts of the government of Saudi Arabia under the leadership of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud. It also also denounced the shooting incident which occurred in Al Ghatif, affirming Bahrain's support to all procedures taken by Saudi Arabia to maintain its security and stability. The cabinet stressed Bahrain's position, which rejects terrorism and all its forms, and called for concerted Arab, Islamic, and international efforts to combat it. The cabinet followed or followed with the repercussions of the cyber attack that targeted institutions around the world and took note of the report presented by the Minister of the Interior on measures taken to educate organizations and individuals and the need to use the necessary protection systems. His Royal Highness directed to report on future actions and measures to enhance e-security. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister directed to accommodate the needs of Bilad al qadim and Azint residents of housing services in addition to accommodating applicants from Selmabad residents within the Ramli housing project and instructed the Ministry of Housing to take the necessary measures. <coughs> the cabinet approved the establishment of two diplomatic missions for the Kingdom of Bahrain in the Republic of Sudan and the Kingdom of Malaysia. The cabinet approved the insurance of uh, veterinary medicine and vaccines through the collective purchase of veterinary drugs and vaccines in accordance with the unified purchasing mechanism approved by the GCC Agricultural Cooperation, Cooperation Committee. The cabinet discussed a religious memorandum of understanding between Bahrain's Ministry of Justice and Islamic Affairs and the Republic of Kyrgyzstan State Committee for Religious Affairs. The cabinet approved Bahrain's uh, ho hosting of the regional workshop organized by General Secretariat of the Islamic Educational Scientific and a Cultural Organization to highlight the role of women in society. The cabinet referred uh, to uh, the Ministerial Committee for Legal Affairs, the protocol between the Bahraini government and the government of the Philippines to amend and update the agreement signed on air services. The cabinet referred a draft law on uh, subsides to the legislative authority. 
The cabinet approved a proposal on protecting Bahraini employees and workers from dismissal. The cabinet discussed a proposal on appointing executives for public institutions and government companies and on bilateral agreements in the judicial cooperation filed and with countries with a large number of Bahraini residents. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to French President Emmanuel Macron on his inauguration as President of the Republic of France. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince lauded the solid, long standing bilateral relations accentuated by cooperation in various areas in the interests of the two countries and their people. Bahrain Defense Force Commander-in-Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa visited today the Royal Command Staff and National Defense College where he was received by the commander of the College Navy Major General Abdullah Saeed Al Mansouri and a number of BDF senior officers. The BDF Commander-in-Chief was briefed on the implementation process of the College's development program which is as a result of the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. He stressed the role of the Royal College in training soldiers according to the latest military technologies which will result in developing BDF units. The BDF Commander-in-Chief chaired the Supreme Council of the College meeting during which he hailed the achievements of the BDF on the combat and administrative levels under the prosperous era of His Majesty the King. The meeting was attended by the Inspector General Major General Abdullah Hassan Al Naimi and a number of senior BDF officials. Bahrain presented its experience in implementing the project Enhancing Citizenship and Human Rights in the Schools of the Kingdom during a seminar held by the Geneva Center for Human Rights Achievement, Advancements and Global Dialogue. The seminar was attended by representatives of the UNESCO International Bureau of Education and the Bahrain Permanent Mission to the United Nations, as well as a number of Geneva-based diplomats. In a recorded speech, the Minister of Education, Dr. Majid bin Ali Al Naimi, affirmed that the project is a reflection of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's reform project, which is based on tolerance, coexistence, and national unity. He also noted that the Ministry of Education developed new curricula that focus on enhancing the values of citizenship among students. Bahrain Ambassador and Permanent Representative to the UN in Geneva, Yusuf Abdel Karim Bouchiri, delivered a speech in which he affirmed that the Kingdom of Bahrain has exerted great efforts in providing education for all citizens. He also praised Geneva Center for Human Rights Advancement and Global Dialogue for introducing this opportunity. A short movie was then played presenting the effects of the unfortunate incident schools have witnessed starting from February 2011 and the way, all the way and the way the Ministry of Education faced them. The experience of Bahrain in terms of developing this idea of citizenship and human rights education has been extremely relevant because you have put at the core front of the discussion how you can develop in the learners those those attributes, those competencies that can facilitate them understanding each other, learning to live together, appreciate diversity, not be afraid to discuss, not be afraid to express ourselves. Now what I learned today about the Bahrain case is that I, I was impressed that we in Colombia started the same work uh, at this, almost at the same time in 2004. So it's interesting to know that people on the other side of the world are doing the same efforts that we are in Colombia. I think that this has been really interesting to get to know about what is going on in, in Bahrain. And uh, I have really been impressed about what has been done there, what kinds of projects are going on and on, on citizenship and human rights education. And especially when there have been dif difficult situations, so it is very, very important to, to have this kind of developments that you, you have been making in your country. Women in Art for Peace exhibition was held today by the MENA International Peace Institute in which it co in collaboration with Europe's Art Gallery and Art Wed when under the patronage of His Excellency Sheikh Rashid bin Khalifa Al Khalifa Under Secretary for Nationality, Passports and Residence Affairs of the Ministry of Interior and Honorary President of the Bahrain Arts Society. More details with Hib Abdullah Afar. The initiative Women in Art for Peace is designed to encourage female artists to participate in dialogue and exchange to promote the culture of peace.
Stunning artworks by prominent local, regional and international women painters are showcased raising awareness about the importance of women's participation in peace building and peacekeeping. Major contribution by women to the culture of peace. We aimed when we established this center to make it the destination of peace makers, peace lovers and peace sustainers. And here we have women group, as I said, from different continents that, who gathered in Bahrain to consolidate through their paintings a strong message for peace. And this message will contribute to the spread and the consolidation of the culture of peace. This is our first exhibition uh, and it's going to be series. Inshallah it will move to Vienna and to New York within one year. Uh, I chose, uh, I made this painting especially for this event. It's uh, uh, made by gold leaves and it's upon uh, uh, a holy verse in Quran. Inspiring messages of peace redacted from each artist's story. Painting is like visual music, okay? It is feeling. That's why it is abstract. And you can tell like a conversation between light and dark, like conversation between cello and violin. My name starts with Mir. That means in my language, peace. So Miranda means that I start with this from within, and I want to spread this out. So I was creating a lot of art projects connecting peace because I come from Slovenia that was ex-Yugoslavia and that was there was war at the end. Peace starts within the family. You start working for peace in the family, you work for peace with your friends, then you go out in society and you can be an ambassador of peace. So I'm very grateful to be here to be able to show my work and I would conclude with art is peace. Different backgrounds and cultures but one goal aiming to play a more meaningful role in conflict prevention, resolution and in post-war peace building, conveyed in the simplest yet most beautiful international language, art. Nothing can convey the message of peace better than art. Beautiful artworks and extremely inspiring women are here today from the East and the West, celebrating peace, love and unity. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Heba Abdel Ghaffour. Very good evening. You're watching the business news on Bahrain International with me, Shog Mohammed. Bahrain Ultra Index has closed at 1,311.98 points, marking an increase of 1.55 points above the previous closing. The increase was in the commercial banks, investments, and services sectors, and investors traded mainly in the commercial banks with 59% of total shares. 48 transactions included 2,832,561 shares, worth 577,454 Bahraini dinars. The second Middle East Asset Management Forum was held today at the Gulf Hotel Convention Center, drawing experts from Bahrain, the region and beyond. Daniel Deporto was there and brings us more in this report. Financial services are one of five key strategic industries that Bahrain's government has identified as offering the greatest growth potential to be developed via public institutions' empowerment of private sector activities, in line with the ethos of the Kingdom's Economic Vision 2030. The second annual Middle East Asset Management Forum was organized by the Global Investor Group in partnership with the Central Bank of Bahrain, attracting experts from Bahrain and beyond seeking to exchange knowledge and ideas about the future of the industry in the region and globally. The overall uh, asset management industry is one of the growing industry in, the, in Bahrain and in the region as a whole. And it is one of the uh, most growing sector even worldwide. There's lots of things changing in the region and changing in the industry globally so, so we're, we're looking at some of those today and they include regulation which has become a big theme um, for well, all financial institutions since the financial crisis of 2008. Um, technology, obviously there's a lot of innovation in, in technology at the moment so we'll be looking at that later on as well as some of the, the uh, um, challenges around taxation, there are some taxation changes being proposed also, so there's plenty to talk about. The full day event featured five expert panel sessions on the most pressing opportunities and threats facing those working in and regulating the industry today. Discussions covered market development, regulatory updates, the GCC's introduction of value-added tax on goods and services from 2018, 
blockchain and fintech, and the global outlook for asset management in the context of Western political upheaval. Bahrain's asset management ecosystem is young, but growing at a tremendous rate, with a number of features that indicate a bright outlook, including forums such as the one hosted today. We've uh, started uh, this type of uh, activities in uh, 2006. As we uh, speak today, uh, the assets under management for those assets managers exceed 19 billion US dollar in less than nine years, which is I see it as outstanding in terms of the growth. Uh, I think Bahrain, as you are aware, is one of the preeminent financial centers in the region, specifically to the banking and assets management. And we, uh, and an, our outlook on, the, uh, on, 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 on these type of activities, specifically the assets management services, is very positive. The number of investment firms has more than doubled in the last 10 years, which I think is a great sign. And also the assets under management have been growing at about 16% year on year for the last five years. So I mean, that obviously indicates that there's a lot of interest in Bahrain. I mean, to be honest, I'm not just saying this because they're our sponsors. The best, One of the best things that Bahrain has going for it is the regulator, the central bank of Bahrain. They have a very strong international reputation and not meaning to criticise some of the the other regulators in the region, but they, they are seen as the best regulator. Bahrain first rose to prominence as the region's key financial centre in the 1970s and today is home to more than 400 financial institutions, including the highest number of Islamic financial institutions in the Middle East. Events like the Middle East Asset Management Forum prove that this sector is still being driven proactively to achieve the highest international standards through public-private cooperation. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Danielle Deporto.